Journal Record editor Russell Ray joins us now. So let's begin in Tulsa where there was a blockbuster purchase of commercial real estate by an outside investor. Uh, that's right. A New York company known as uh, Group RMC has uh, purchased nine big office buildings uh, in Tulsa. Altogether, the uh, purchase accounts for more than one million uh, square feet of office space in Tulsa. Some of the uh, buildings in included in the deal were Town Center on 45th Street, uh, the Exchange Tower on Garnett Road, and a Corporate Place on uh, Skelly Drive. Uh, officials told us the uh, deal really illustrates the strength of the uh, Tulsa real estate market. Sure does. Yeah. And uh, judges ruled a state law dealing with wholesale distribution of alcohol is unconstitutional. So, what does that mean for store owners and customers? Well, it means uh, liquor and wine producers will be free to uh, choose a single wholesaler to distribute their products. Uh, under the law that was supposed to take effect August uh, 29th, the top 25 manufacturers would have been uh, required to offer their products to all wholesalers. Uh, the Institute for Responsible Alcohol Policy said the ruling was a victory for the voters of Oklahoma. Back in 2016, voters approved state question 792, which gave suppliers the option to uh, choose the wholesalers they wanted to sell to. Senate Bill 68, uh, 608 uh, took that option away, but supporters of that bill say they plan to appeal the ruling. Let's talk money. Gross receipts to the state tre treasury are up, but tax collections in some key areas are leveling off. Give us the details on that. Uh, that's right. State tax collections over the last 12 months totaled $13.7 billion. That's up uh, 11.5 percent versus the same period last year. However, uh, collections have been down for two straight months and July revenue from the uh, gross production tax on oil and gas uh, was down 12.3 percent compared with uh, revenue in June. State officials uh, pointed to lower oil prices and to what they described as indications of a slowdown uh, in revenue growth. I want to know more about the Sierra Club. They are opposing the expansion of an active Oklahoma coal mine. So tell us the details on that. Well, one uh, coal producer wants to expand its South Central Coal Mine, which is two miles west of Spiro. Not surprisingly, uh, the Sierra Club is urging the Bureau of Land Management to deny the company's request. If approved, the uh, coal mine would be expanded across 270 acres of federal coal reserves. Before I let you go, what are you working on for us uh, for next week? Yeah, we'll be taking a close look at what happens to a wind turbine at the end of its lifespan. We have uh, a lot of old wind turbines here in Oklahoma, and there are concerns these sites could become scrapyards uh, of rusty metal. Mm, very good. Look forward to that. Russell Ray, thank you so much. My pleasure, Rich. Uh, thank